Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my current favorite build in the game. And of course, we're going to be using the Ancient Sage Nodachi, man. This thing, one, it looks pretty cool. And two, dude, this weapon is actually pretty sick, man. I uh, I think I'm addicted a little bit. We uh, <laughs> I've been trying to use other weapons, but I just keep coming back to this one. And I'm actually kind of sad to make this build video because usually when I make a build video, that's... uh. I move on and start making new weapons and I never come back to some builds but this build is absolutely getting saved inside of my loadouts because this thing is absolutely insane dude now with this build we're going to be focusing on stacking as much time changer as we can and getting as much damage skills as we can so taking a look at the actual weapon that we're using of course we're using the ancient sage nodachi this drops from the brand new alpha sap scourge the fight is actually pretty cool and some of his weapons and armors are actually not that bad man some of them are actually really really good so the nodachi i don't remember what the original inherent skill was on here but we rolled it off we have sleight of hand fury 16 percent time change 30 percent charge boost fury at two percent the time changer came on here base we rolled the sleight of hand we rolled the charge boost fury now there's actually two rolls of sleight of hand on here i believe the other one was a eight percent roll but we got lucky we got the 16 percent roll so that does exist on this weapon you just have to keep rerolling until you get it and then the 30 percent time changer came on here at base and then we rolled on the charge boost fury at two percent now as for the inherited skill these are the weapons that we picked up throughout the tree we got the steely ei this comes on the weapon we have the verb at 10 percent ei art at eight percent we had to take this because we uh we took this path right here we had to pick up ei art and then we have the charge boost fury at six percent times two so so in grand total we have charge boost fury at 14 percent eight percent ei art steal the ei 16 percent sleight of hand 10 percent verve and the 30 percent of time changer now if you didn't want to pick up the charge boost furies you could also pick up the double strikes they're kind of similar but they are a little bit different in what they do the charge boost boosts the power of your charge up attacks but the double strikes boost your attacks whenever a charged up attack connects. So with charge boost fury, you only get that benefit when that attack connects, but with the double strike, you get an overall attack boost after your charged up attack connects. I still prefer the charge boost fury. I like that a lot more. So I think that one pretty much just comes down to your actual play style. So that is the weapon right there in a nutshell. This thing is crazy, dude. I love it a lot, but where the build starts to come together is of course the armor and the talismans. Now taking a look at the helmet, there are two options here. You could either use the Grimstalker headpiece or the White Fang headpiece. Now the White Fang headpiece is going to give you more damage as long as you are at max HP and you uh, you know you're using your charge up attacks. But the Grimstalker headpiece is going to give you the ability to land crits. So the one scroll critical on a weapon with really high raw damage, being able to crit with a weapon that has a lot of raw damage is uh, is pretty good. So the headpiece you choose also comes down to playstyle. So you got a little bit of freedom with that one. But for the chest piece, of course, we got the Grimstalker chest piece for the destruction art and the Hunter's Hunger. Now, if you don't know what Hunter's Hunger does, this increases your attack whenever you activate your Hunter's Arm. Now at base, this lasts for 30 seconds, but with the build we have right now, we're gonna get a grand total of 54 seconds of Hunter's Hunger. So this is a, that is absolutely not a joke, especially on top of the sleight of hand, dude. You're gonna be doing so much damage, it's kind of, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's kind of crazy. It's really nice to see the numbers. So that's the chest piece, and then the gloves. Of course, we're using the Fuma Clan gloves for the 20% of Hunter's Hunger, 16% of the core boost, and then we have the Dawn Guard pants. Now these pants are really, really good with this build. Sleight of Hand Fury, 10%. Curry Curry Coordination Remedy, plus two. Health Boost, plus five. I wish that Curry Curry Coordination was a little bit higher, but uh, all in all, dude, these pants are really good. And what the Sleight of Hand Fury actually does is boost your attack for a while after you conjure a Curry Curry. Now usually this lasts for about five seconds, but with the build we have now, with the amount of time changer that we have, we get about seven to eight seconds and even though that doesn't seem like a lot that is a pretty substantial difference especially when you're in the heat of combat and if you're using the nodachi you're going to be spamming curries all the time so this is always going to be up now last but not least we got the golden samurai boots dude these uh these boots actually are replacing the white fang boots that we've been using for so long now the white fang boots of course they're still really good they got the savage plus three the verb at three percent you absolutely cannot go wrong with that but with the nodachi the golden samurai boots man these are actually really really good now what we got on here we got curry coordination fury at six percent 
boost the power of attacks incorporating basic karakuri if you're using the nodachi this is pretty much like uh this like 80 percent of all of your attacks are coming from karakuri attacks so this is really good We've got the war ready at 10% increased stamina recovery when the weapon is out so that is also good as well and then just the icing on the cake we got the resurrection now with these boots if you're using the nodachi if you're on human path they're pretty much a uh, best in slot i would say i could be wrong but uh, they're absolutely the way to go if you're using nodachi now taking a look at my talismans they actually don't change that much between all of my builds because most of my human path builds i'm using hunter's hunger and if i'm using hunter's hunger i'm using time changer so for like the last month my talismans have pretty much been the same i'm still hunt for some upgrades <laughs> for some more 10 percent but no luck soul stalker does not want to give me any more time changes but what we have here we got a couple 10 percent we got an eight percent seven percent and a nine percent time changer and we got lucky with a couple rolls with some one scroll critical slash bolster eagle eye all these all these talismans are actually really really good now taking a look at our actual base stats we got 1353 raw attack that is actually pretty good we have the 26% sleight of hand fury, the 10% verve, the 30% of hunter's hunger, eagle eye is good, fusion stalwart is good, 6% curry curry coordination, all of these are pretty good, 65% of one scroll critical, now we could push this up to 100, but 65% is, uh, that's still pretty good, the resurrection, and then last but not least, we got the 74% time changer dude that is a lot of extra time on all of our buffs now with that much time changer what that means is we're going to have a lot of uptime on pretty much all of our damage boosting skills the hunter's hunger is going to go from like 30 seconds to like 54 seconds the one scroll critical is going to go from 10 seconds to like 17 seconds somewhere around there the sleight of hand fury is going to go from five seconds to around seven to eight seconds so that's going to be a lot of uptime on pretty much everything dude even the eagle eye the fusion stalwart everything we got on the build overall man we're just going to have a lot of uptime on our damaging skills so we're going to jump to hunt and i actually still have to fight the uh the sap scourge i need some more <laughs> i need some more parts so we're going to jump and we're going to fight the alpha sap scourge and yeah man i shall see you guys in like two seconds all right here we go and also don't think i've mentioned it but uh i ate sliced meat a dried sliced meat and a normal sliced meat just for the 10 percent attack uh nothing crazy i do want to try out the uh like sesame seeds i'm pretty sure they in the patch notes they said that they adjusted the sesame seeds to give gauge why is that there that's so random but i actually don't think i have any sesame seeds i should probably go farm some all right maybe they got some in the shop as well go we'll buy some we're gonna put a trap down like we usually don't use a whole lot of traps but uh this guy he kind of blows through all the normal cover curry like he doesn't get stopped by the box we're gonna put one right here we're gonna charge this bad boy up and then we're gonna get that sleight of hand fury activated i'm just gonna put a box down right there and with that tail 945 i'll take it dude. it's not bad all right come on over here sir we uh oh he jump right over it is that oh please be one of those things oh thank goodness yeah the radiant resin dude we uh <laughs> we need we need those. those that hit me no way dude yeah the radiant resin we need as many of those as possible dude that is absolutely we need a lot of those to craft dude we like four per piece hit oh we take the trade we take the trade uh, and we broke apart on the back. That's pretty good. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, so we're going to grab that part on the side, of course. And then... We're going to grab this. Then we're going to put another trap down. So we got the Hunter's Hunger here. And now... Oh, thank goodness. Right in there. Let's go, dude. So this tail is probably gone right here. Maybe. Oh, not quite 1489 though boom he got oh he blocked it okay we should probably get out of here going back in though boom let, let go in the air Ooh. oh i can't see i can't see oh my gosh dude <laughs> there's there goes the tail that's what we want we want that gone 
Hey, buddy. Can I set on fire, please? Oh, no. Oh, that was bad time for my heal. Oh, man. I've also got to do a review of his armor as well. I tried out some of the pieces, and it's, uh, it's actually not that bad, dude. Like the, the drip drop. Drip drop? I believe that's what it's called. It's uh, pretty... Uh, pretty useful I don't know how well it'll be okay bro let's see the, oh I was like yo what move is that okay okay he juke me out no not again I must say no way he hits me with that again dude like he knows when I'm healing Two. Nope. All right. Let's get this. Boom. And headshot. No headshot. We knocked him over, though. We'll take it. He completely missed that. Boom. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. That was. <laughs> All right. We got the fire proc at the perfect time. Dude, that's. Legit saved our lives right there. Oh, he's gonna try to run away here, ain't he? Yeah, oh, he's down actually. No, 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 get back here. No, <laughs> oh, he's gone. Damn. Yeah, this guy, once you get him, uh, once you get the ball rolling, look at all those pieces on the ground, dude. Oh my god, more resin. Yes, let's go, dude. More resin. Let's... All right, man. It's time to end this, buddy. Time to send you home, man. Yeah. What is that? Oh, oh no. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh my God, bro. How'd I get hit with that? Or he like tracked me out of my spring. Are you gonna pay for that? Craig, no. <laughs> Craig get his ass whooped. I got you, Craig. Oh. oh. Oh, he's tired now. Okay. There was a lot of shenanigans you were doing, sir. Yo, you're still alive. Very well. We'll end you with some style. Oh, no, we won't. No, we won't. Oh, I want to go for it so bad. I want to go for it. I want to go for it. <laughs> bad idea. Oh. Well, at least I didn't die. <laughs> bro, where is he going? Where is he going, bro? This fight is far from over, dude. Here. Go for this. Oh, we missed. Oh, my. Okay, let me stop playing around before I actually die, dude. All right. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for playing Craig. No. Okay, dude. How are you still alive, dude? Oh, he proper resurrection. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this, dude. No. He hit the box. <laughs> he hit the box. Okay. Ow. Bro, he's so close to dead. Get out of here, dude. No way. No way I just died to this dude. Bro. That's what I get for trolling. That's what I get for trolling. That's what I get for trolling and playing around. See, now you gotta pay. I gotta run you over. Imagine if I killed him with that. That would have been hilarious, dude. That Now you gotta pay, dude. Bro, how are you alive, man? Oh my. He's still alive. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I can't believe I died right there, man. Oh my god, dude. Get out of here, man. 
Get your ass out of here. How did I die to this dude? Man, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's the build in a nutshell. If you play it correctly and stop playing around with the, uh, it's hilarious. I get a longer time on him than the deep volatile. But yeah, man, the build's pretty cool. It's, uh, if you play aggressive, man, you, uh, you're going to get a lot of damage out really, really quickly. I'm sad to stop using this build. I'm going to have to put it on hold for a second so I can make some more builds. But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. It's down below. Oh, I actually need some sliced meat. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys next time, man. <laughs> Peace out.